Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel. Yes, Microsoft released another build for the Beta channel. This is a very small build, but of course, we're trying to cover all the new Windows Insider builds on this channel. So, of course, we're also covering this one. The build that we're talking about today is the build 22635248A3, and this is of course a build for Windows 11 version 23H2. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. A quick reminder for all of you that are enrolled in the Beta channel, there are a few changes with the Beta channel. First of all, Microsoft is not releasing two different builds, one with new features turned on by default and one with new features turned off by default. They are only releasing a build for everyone, but to have the latest features automatically enabled, you need to turn on the slider, get the latest updates as soon as they're available inside Windows Update, and you'll be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. So in this update, Microsoft is temporarily disabling the update of the color font format to call RV1 that was introduced in a previous build that display a richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance to fix some bugs, and they are planning to re-enable this in a future bed of line. Also in the European economic area, Windows will now require consent to share data between Windows and other signed-in Microsoft services. You will see some Windows features start to check for consent now, with more more being added in future builds. Without consent to share data between Windows and other assigned in Microsoft services, some functionality in Windows features may be unavailable, for example certain types of file recommendations under the recommended section in the start menu. And we also have a fix in this build, Microsoft fixing an issue which was causing search to crash on launch for some insiders in the previous flight. But on the better channel, for me at least, the search is pretty slow, especially after I put up my computer, and I think this is a bug that will be fixed in future builds, but this is only happening in the better channel on other Windows Insider channels I don't have this issue. So this is the build for today in the better channel. Of course it was a small build as I've said but I'm trying to keep you all updated with all the new builds that Microsoft releases. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.